Yorkipu. The Yorkipu is a mixed dog being the result of crossing a poodle, toy or miniature, with a Yorkshire Terrier. He has a lifespan of 10 to 15 years and is also called a Yudal, Yorkipu, Yorkipu, Yoyipu and Yorkidoodle. He does well at obedience and agility and is a confident and happy dog. There are several methods of breeding that are going on with this dog. F1S are 50% Yorkie and 50% Poodle, a Poodle bred with a Yorkie. F1BS are 25% Poodle and 75% Yorkie, a Yorkie Poo bred with a Yorkie, or 25% Yorkie and 75% Poodle, Yorkie Poo bred with Poodle. F2S are F1 Yorkie Poos bred with F1 Yorkie Poos. Phase are F2 Yorkie Poos bred with F2 Yorkie Poos. F3 or higher becomes multi-generational. Where does the Yorkie Poo come from? The Yorkie Poo was bred in the US in the last 10 years. He was to be a small companion dog who was good for allergy sufferers and was more healthy than either purebred parents who are known to have a lot of issues at the moment from poor breeding. Of course that means you need a trustworthy breeder who screens their parents carefully. As mentioned there are several ways of breeding the Yorkie Poo and if that is something important to you make sure you ask the breeder what they do. The success of the Yorkie Poo is mixed, some are clear of the health issues the parents face but some are not. Make sure you research who you are buying from. As a designer dog there are a lot of poor breeders and puppy mills out there creating more dogs to make money with no care about the animal's welfare. The Poodle The Poodle was bred to be a retriever of waterfowl originally in Germany. Over the years when he made it to France he was bred and refined further into the Poodle we are more familiar with now. There are and have been for hundreds of years three sizes. Standard used for waterfowl hunting, miniature used for sniffing out truffles and toy used as companions and often carried around in the sleeves of the French nobility. The circuses and traveling performers of the time also took a liking to the poodle. He was easy to train because of his intelligence and learned tricks and routines quickly. They would sculpt his coat to make him look more interesting and the wealthy spectator saw this and copied it. In England he was first registered in 1874 and in the US in 1886. Today he is a very popular dog because of his intelligence, affectionate nature, ability to entertain and how friendly he is. He is a very loyal dog, and his aloofness is more a wariness of strangers. He loves to play and is eager to please. He is protective of his home and his family and makes a good watchdog. The Yorkshire Terrier The Yorkshire Terrier comes from dogs brought by the Scottish to Yorkshire during the Industrial Revolution in England. Those dogs were larger and were thought to be ratters, catching rats and other vermin in mills and places of work. They were then crossed with other terriers leading to a small dog first seen in 1861 in a bench show. In 1870 the breed he was called a Yorkshire Terrier because that is where most of the breeding was done. In the 1870s he came to America. The Yorkie as he is often called is a great companion, small, endearing and adventurous. There are a range of personalities, some are calm and cuddly, some are more spirited and outgoing. Yorkies should not be spoiled though as they can have a tendency to adopt bad habits quickly and then be very difficult about training them out of them. Early socialization and training are important with him to get him used to children, other pets, and other experiences. Temperament The Yorkie Poo is a very confident and happy dog, with lots of energy, intelligence and boldness. He is usually gentle, affectionate and loving with his family and owners. He does love to be in your lap watching everything or sleeping but he also loves to be playing. For a small dog he has plenty of agility and speed when he is playing. He loves to get attention and entertain people. He is a great companion but he can suffer from separation anxiety if left alone for long periods. Yorkie Poos often have a curious nature too so will love exploring and investigating things. He is a social creature and loves it when people come over to visit and give him extra attention. What does the Yorkie Poo look like? The Yorkie Poo is a small dog weighing just 3 to 14 pounds and standing between 7 to 15 inches tall. He can have ears that are erect or hanging over. His head is round and he has almond-shaped eyes. His muzzle is medium in length and his tail is somewhat long on a body that is well proportioned. His coat can vary depending on which parent he leans more towards. Straight to curly, soft and silky, and then colors can be cream, white, sable, red, black, chocolate, apricot, silver, tan and gray. Training and exercise needs. How active does the Yorkie Poo need to be? With his size he is suitable for living in an apartment as long as he gets play and some outdoor time each day too. He does bark a lot though if there are noise regulations where you live. He has a lot of energy so a couple of short daily walks, time in the yard if you have one, play indoors will all be enough. Additional things like visits to the dog park are a good idea but keep in mind some dog parks have a minimum size rule and the smaller Yorkie poos may not be allowed in them. 
Does he train quickly? He can be a quick learner but he does have a stubborn side. You can get around his willfulness by keeping the training interesting, fun, short when needed and positive. Avoid punishments, becoming impatient or scolding. All the negativity will do is lead to him to shut you out. Also avoid things being too repetitive, dull and boring. House training may take a little longer but do not give up on it just because he is small and cute. He can be house trained. Early socialization and training are important to give him better ways to deal with different people and situations. With a firm but positive approach you may also have more control over his frequent barking. Living with a Yorkie Poo How much grooming is needed? He does not shed much and is a good dog for allergy sufferers as both parents are considered hypoallergenic. His hair can be long and it will need daily brushing to keep it free of debris and tangles. He will need bathing now and then but keep it to as needed. He may need his hair clipped or tied up out of his face and eyes. You could opt to take him to a groomer's on a regular basis to have his long hair either trimmed or have it cut shorter to make it easier to look after. Brush his teeth at least three times a week, check his ears and wipe them clean once a week using a dog ear cleaning solution. Also his nails will need cutting when they get too long. The dental care is especially important for the Yorkie Poo since he is prone to dental health issues. What is he like with children and other animals? The Yorkie Poo gets along well with children, enjoys playing and is affectionate but because of his size care really needs to be taken. Smaller children should be avoided or at least supervised. Another problem this dog has is with larger dogs. He is bold and has the typical small dog tendency of challenging larger dogs despite his tiny size. This could get him into trouble. Early socialization helps as does training but they should always be supervised just in case. He sometimes will chase other pets because of his drive to chase prey, even when most of the time that prey is larger than him. General information. He is alert and makes a good watchdog as he will bark when anyone comes to the door or if anyone should try to get into the home. He is a frequent barker but that can be controlled somewhat with training. He should be fed one quarter to one cup of high quality dried dog food each day split into two meals at least. Health concerns. To have a more healthy dog or better chances of it make sure you buy from a trusted breeder who allows you to visit, see the conditions they breed in and show you parental health clearances. While there are no specific conditions the Yorkie Poo suffers from they are at risk of inheriting the issues their parents might have including epilepsy, patella luxation, PSS, leg calve perties, hypothyroidism, Addison's, skin problems, eye problems, heart problems, von Wilbrand's, joint dysplasia and dental problems. Costs involved in owning a Yorkie Poo. Puppies of this mixed breed can cost between $450 to $1,500. Other costs come to $360 to $400 for things like chipping, neutering, blood tests, shots, deworming, crate, carrier bag and collar and leash. Yearly costs for basic medical needs like checkups, pet insurances, flea prevention and shots come to between $435 to $535. Non-medical yearly costs for things like food, treats, license, toys and training come to $300 to $400.